Hello everybody, I'm Bob Furlong, and this is Tech Quips, number 27, the final question. For several years now, I have been videoing my lectures and putting them online for students to watch as a homework assignment. I use a website called Edpuzzle that monitors each student's progress through the videos, and you have the ability to ask questions along the way. I kind of see this as me asking questions when I would have given this as a live lecture, but instead of only one student being able to answer that question, everyone gets to answer that question. But I always put a question at the very end of each video. So you can see that right down here. When there's about one or two seconds left, I had one more question. And this question is the most valuable question. It asks the students to rate how well they have understood this material. At first, I was just having them type in a number, one through five, how would you rate your level of understanding? What's nice about that is I just had to look at that one question and I get a pretty good overview of how well the students understand that material. It gives me information before I start my live class if I have to do a little reteaching or if I can continue on with the plan for the day. But putting in a number one, two, three, four, five, although it is kind of effective, I started to change it up a little bit. I'm in a puzzle right now, and I'm going to show you an example of this. If I go down to classification, I go to questions, and my question in this case was to reflect on your level of understanding of this material by choosing one of the iced cream sundaes below. The more toppings on your sundae reflects a greater level of understanding of the material. So when you click on that, I can see that, well, no one said, well, I don't have no understanding of this, only... One person said whipped cream only. Only one person said whipped cream and cherry. Most of the class had some decent level of understanding. So I knew that, okay, I can go on with whatever I had planned for the day. So you can also, under questions, just have them type something in. So in this case, the question was immediately after learning this material, you can no longer suppress the urge to run out into the hallway and scream about how well you understand it. What is the word or sound that you would make? And now I can just scroll through and see what all of the students would say and I use the and they're pretty honest you know it gives you a pretty good idea as to what their level of understanding is so put in that final question make sure that you look at the results when you start your next class I have found it to be an extremely helpful formative assessment thanks for watching